All right, um, here's question one. Consider the following reaction. A plus B goes to C, where the rate is equal to K times A to the first power. So it's first order with respect to A and zero order with respect to B and first order overall. And we are asked to um, figure out how much time it takes for the reaction to be 90% complete. And we're given two different uh, test tubes here. Um, the thing to realize is that uh, when these two solutions mix, um, there's going to be a dilution. Now, uh, B does not matter at all because the rate law does not include the concentration of B. So we use the dilution formula here to figure out the concentration of A. The dilution formula has this form. And we solve for M2. And uh, we plug in our values. So uh, M1 is the starting molarity, which is 1.0 uh, molar. And the um, volume here for chemical A is 1.5 milliliters. And when these two solutions mix, there's a total volume of 1.5 plus 2.5, which is 4 milliliters. So when you calculate all of this out, the molarity just upon immediate mixing of these two chemicals is 0.375 molar chemical A. Okay, And what we want to now do is figure out how much time has passed before 90% of the reaction is complete. Now, if 90% is complete, that's the same thing as saying that 10% uh, remains. And what we want to use is the equation with the time in it, which is the uh, integrated first order um, rate law. It has this form right here, natural log of a at um, initial time zero minus the natural log of A at time t is equal to k times t. All right, we want to divide both sides by k and we'll get a new equation that solves for uh, time. Okay, and we plug these values in. So the initial amount is going to be 100% or 100. Okay. The amount remaining at the concentration at time t is 10. Okay, that's, you know, 90% goes away. You're left with 10. That's how much you have. That's the concentration. You divide this by the rate constant. And 1 over seconds to the minus 1 is equal to uh, seconds. So whatever we get on our calculator will be time in seconds. OK? So let's go ahead and plug all this in. And what I get on my calculator is 12,800 seconds or so. So if I want to round this number off to two sig figs, I would write 1.3 times 10 to the fourth seconds. I could also convert that to minutes, hours, days if I decided. Okay, so that's the time it would take.